guys, it's Full Cars here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. In front of me today, I have a box of 2020-21 Upper Deck Artifacts to Hack, Crack, uh, Sack, like the capital. Uh, so rest in peace, George Armstrong, Irish Ojibwe, four cups through 1949-1971. Uh, known as Chief or uh, Big Chief Shoot the Puck, this actual headdress name. And uh, here we go guys, artifacts. It took me like a week to get this box because of snafus with FedEx and I sort of wrote a little story about that under the video of my last video. Uh, but let's do it guys. And this box was about $85 American for me plus tax, etc. I know that you guys are paying more um, travesty, I guess. Artifacts typically is pretty good. Hobby is good. As we know, retail blasters are brutal. Uh, usually hobby is pretty good. Um, so let's see. Although we've been hearing that half the boxes have half the hits and half the boxes have double the hits. So it's been a real shite show uh, this year with artifacts. So let's go. Configuration, four cards per pack, eight packs per box, which amount to 32 cards, total base set one through 180. We have the vets, the stars, the legends, uh, the base rookie cards within there as well. The parallels are bonkers. I mean, the blue sapphire, I think there's rubies, coppers, emeralds, autumns, aquas, pinks, purples, the relics, the auto relics, the whatever, all of those are just so many. It's insane the amount of parallels. And then with regard to the Rookie Redemptions to be named later, 181 through 220, 40 cards. Also parallels like the Emeralds. I think there's SP photo variations within those. Of course, Relics, Autos, Auto Relic as well in terms of the parallels. And within a box break, expect three Autos, Mems, or Orem cards. I know a lot of people complain about the Orem cards, but there are Autos of the Orem cards. And I can tell you for a fact, uh, Orem short prints actually do have value. So don't be surprised if they actually have value if you hit one of the short prints. Also, we should receive one Rookie Redemption and four serial numbered cards, as well as one numbered to 99 or less. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the checklist of Orem cards, but there are holdover rookies. I know the autos, there's the Autofacts and more Stanley Legacies and top 12 signatures uh, and the esteemed endorsements, which are really, really cool autos. And in terms of relics, there's all kinds of relics like the, um, let me just get this here. Uh, like the, what, like the legacy relics, like the HL, NHL remnants, like the Tundra Tandems. Um, Tundra Tandem quads uh, exist as well. Those are really cool. Year one rookie sweater. So all kinds of stuff to look forward to guys within this stuff. But the key thing is three hits typically, but we might get six or we might get none. Uh, we'll see. And the rookie class, we do know the rookie class, whether Foodie Bellows, uh, Robertsons, uh, Velarde, Josh Norris, Krebs, Lafreniere, Bowen Byram. Uh, there are base, and of course there are the redemptions. So let's do this, guys. All right. The first pack, we appear to have something a bit on the reddish side. There, so here are the cards, uh, the corners. Let's see how the corners are. A lot of the corners have been pretty bad. So there's Zach Parise, and here's the back. They always look industrial age, a little bit well, well westy is how they typically look. There's Heskinen, and here's our first uh, insert, guys. And we hit the Marty St. Louis, uh, number to 399. That is pretty nice, a nice little sort of uh, red one, if you will. And of course, the Kyle Connor, one of my favorite players. All right, so the red ones are rubies, uh, just like the ruby oranges from Tropicana, remember that? Continuing on, guys, uh-huh. Another number card, I believe. So we have a David Pearl, we have a Logan Couture, and we do have a Mikey Anderson. Oh, nice, a little Mikey Anderson. That is pretty cool, artifacts. He's a D on the Kings, you've seen him. He's definitely been playing. Nice, nice looking rookie. So this would be one of the base rookies. Uh, big chunky uh, filler and a thriller, and there's Brady Kachuk. All right, Anderson is about six feet. Um, and he was a fourth rounder, and he is a Minnesota uh, person, person from Minnesota. And we have another one. So these are all numbered cards for some reason. We're hitting all four of them, but I guess maybe this is this box with half the hits. It would suck, but let's do it, guys, anyways. We'll get what we get and we'll complain if we have to. So there's OEL, uh, there's Zuccarello, there's Timo Meyer, who does all kinds of things without the puck. And there is a Taylor Hall numbered to 99. That is pretty nice looking emerald, I'm guessing. All right, and Hall. First of all, 2010. So it's been a while, it's been actually 10 years. Man, we are not receiving much in this box, unfortunately. Uh, continuing on, we have Chesterkin, uh, the corners don't look great here. We have Malkin, we have Max Domi, 
And we have something here. Oh, this would be our redemption. And it would be a rookie redemption, Avs. Avs rookie redemption. Now, would that be Bo and Byram? Uh, I think it's just a base redemption, I'm guessing. Here we go. Yeah, Avs. That is pretty cool looking, guys. All right, well, we'll see who it is. I mean, I know Bowen Barnes on the base, but so is Lafreniere on the base, so I'm hoping we'll see what it is. We'll see. You guys have ideas around what it is. I don't think they've necessarily um, stated it yet. So I'm receiving one of these boxes without any hits, guys, which means I'm going to complain and have another box sent to me. We have Nyquist, we have Konechny, we have Cam Atkinson, and we have another one of the rookies. Oh, speaking of the devil, we hit Bowen Barham's uh, base rookie card. That's awesome, guys. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but doesn't it look crooked and miscut to you? I, I'm, I'm serious, like, this looks completely miscut. And I don't know if it's just how it's cut or whether it's the printing. Let's see, it's miscut. It's 100% miscut. Look at this, guys. Unbelievable. I receive the Bowen Byram, speaking of the devil, I receive his base rookie card, and it's absolutely, completely crooked. It's askew. This, it can't be my eyeballs. I mean, look at the bottom of the card. Look at that, guys. Okay, let me zoom in a bit. I can't believe that just happened. What's going on with their quality control? That, that's that's unacceptable, man. What's unacceptable is I haven't had a hit in this box yet. So either I receive all hits now, this is just, I'm gonna send this video in. I'm gonna send them a link to this video because I'm losing it. Um, oh, we've hit something, finally we've hit something, okay. Unbelievable, man, what is going on with these guys? I think we hit a stars, we'll see who the stars is. Uh, there's Jacob Markstrom. So this is number to 299. So that's another numbered card. Uh, and here is our first hit with three packs left. Uh, and who would it be? Would it be Tyler Sagan? Probably, right? We have an NHL remnants and it's just a base jersey of uh, Tyler Sagan. Um, unnumbered, I believe, unnumbered. So just a base jersey. And that's our first hit. I mean, what is going on with this box, guys? Um, I'm already I'm kind of furious and upset by what's going on. And th so we don't have the amount of hits we were guaranteed either. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm absolutely gonna complain about this. This is ridiculous. Ryan Ellis, Mika Zabinajad, Connor Hellebuck, and we hit uh, Brady Kachuk number to 99. So it'd be another one of the Emeralds. Um, this is, what a disastrous box. We received one hit and our Bowen Byram rookie is crooked. Unbelievable, guys. Oh, we have another rookie redemption. What is going on? We didn't receive. Oh, there's a rookie. It's a wild card. I'm, I'm furious, guys. I mean, I'm really disappointed. And we received a wild card. And that's it. So we didn't even receive an auto. What's the, what is the uh, wild card? What does it say? Just a wild card. So it's, you know, it's deeper on the list. This is in the 212s or something. What is it, 216, right? So it's deeper on the list. It's sort of the later, to be named later. What absolute garbage this box was. I cannot believe it. This is a testament to bad quality control. I'm usually very, very um, positive on, on upper deck. Just in general, I tend to be very positive about, you know, not uh, controlling our destiny with regard to cards, but that was just, that was a bunch of hot garbage. Very quickly, uh, our friends at um, Steel City um, gave me this extra pack, so I'll just open it really quickly. Uh, by the way, it's the National Hockey Card Day from 2020. I believe it's from 2020, yeah, it is. So we have uh, Mike Medano, American Icons. We have a Ben Bishop, there's a Kako rookie card. Uh, there's a Chelios. So if it's Kako rookie card, that means it's actually 2019-20. Joe Pavelski in there at the checklist. So that's it, guys. Uh, I'll do a quick recap, a retelling of our story, but this was, um, this was really bad. This was really, really bad. All right, guys, time for the recap. Uh, I am incensed and I will reach out to Upper Deck. This was uh, brutal. But anyways, we did receive uh, 22 of the base cards. So bang, here they are. There's Markstrom, 
uh, who's had a nice start to the season. You see how they're all industrial looking. The corner does not look perfect, which is sort of par for the course with this particular release. Uh, there's Shestick in the background. Is had a bit of a slow start. We'll see how he does. I actually have really high hopes for him. And then with our cards numbered to 299 or less, I think we're guaranteed four of them. We did in fact receive four. There is Marty St. Louis undrafted. This would be a Ruby. Uh, Lady Bing winner, I think three times over, Stanley Cup winner, of course. Jacob Markstrom, who we just saw, number 299, so that's a copper. This is Mikey Anderson, fourth rounder. He is a copper as well, as you can tell from the uh, glean, as well as Bowen Byram. We received Bowen Byram, fourth overall. Now, this is what's crazy about these cards. I mean, it, maybe it's just me, but I can't believe it. The Bowen Byram is completely miscut. It's absolutely completely crooked. They don't even overlap properly, uh, which is bonkers. And of course, Bowen Byram, fourth overall, fourth overall, uh, just like Kale McCart was also fourth overall, by the way. So, uh, and they have both of them now, which is kind of insane, along with Dave's and Gerard and the rest of them. So there you go. And then we're guaranteed uh, two of the 299 or less. And of course we received 99 and not less. So these would be the Emeralds. There's Brady Kachuk, fourth overall in 2018. I think he's, what is he? Second, I think, in points from his draft class now. Uh, Sveshnikov would be in front of him, I gather. And there's Taylor Hall, first overall in 2010. Uh, both Emeralds, bang. And then with regard to our redemptions, we were to receive a one. We received two for whatever reason, wildcard one, which is sort of later down the checklist. And there's the abs one, which I speculated could be a Bowen Byron, but we, of course he's in the base, but as I said, Lafreniere is in both the base and probably uh, in the redemptions. I'm not sure who it's gonna be, it's to be named later. And we only received a single hit in the box. Can you believe it? We were gypped. I'm going to complain. I'm actually furious about this. I don't usually get very angry. And there's Tyler saying, who's by the way, not my favorite player. And this is unnumbered and that's it. And a white, plain white jersey is the hit of the box of artifacts. And usually artifacts hobby is very, very good. It's usually very strong. You can see from my old breaks that I've done all these old box, 2013, whatnot, always hit a ton. I was gypped. So that's basically it guys. Apologies for the attitude, but my freaking head is spinning. I'm about to send off a fiery email. Uh, but please be sure to sub like and hashtag dry and ring that bell. I haven't be full cards. So I haven't drive from a place called Brooklyn, New York. That's a ghost,